Before we get to your scheduled video, please remember that likes and comments tell YouTube to promote our work to other people, and subscribing to the channel tells you when something new drops. You can also head to the link tree in the description to peruse my books, join us on Discord, or support us on Patreon. You can get episodes of Journey of Wrestling and Violent Profiles early, as well as a load of other treats. Even just a dollar a month earns you a name drop for being cool. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the show. Wrestling. Hey! This show doesn't have an intro, yet I always feel compelled to say one. Hey, it's definitely uh, in continuity with what we just said. It wasn't it so funny? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's talk about who's cool, and that's going to be Harmony, a guy from Ohio, Passion Killer, 7-Eleven, Distrucity, KTL, and Rob. I don't think I forgot anyone there. I said it kind of fast. Who knows why? Uh, anyway, gotta... you know what? Let's move on. Okay. So, uh, for you, it's been a week. For us, it's been... Not a week. Moving on. Yeah. Uh, hey, it was the holiday season. What can I say? Um, I forgot that Wrestling Pro Revolution formed. Yep. So we're down a uh, producer this month, Jessica Moreno, our less talented producer. Um, there's a couple things we need to do. We have to have Zack Sabre Jr. and Alex Shelley have a match, a singles match. Uh, CM Punk wants to feud with Kevin Steen within two months. We're going to try to fit that in. We're going to finish up CM Punk's current feud, or, C- or Steen's current feud, one of the two. Well, Steen's only feud, I think it's with Some Joe. Yeah. But, uh, regardless, we need to change Brody Lee's appearance. So Let's go first, ahead and get that done right now. First, let's take a look at our competition so we have something to talk about while we change Brody Lee's appearance. Okay. <sighs> the last thing we need. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura is our heavyweight champion. Sags and Katraz. That's a small... As in Al? Oh, no, it's not. That's a huge roster. Holy shit, they hired the whole Indies. They hired, like, everyone we fired. Look at their jabroni list. It's long. Sean Spears is there. Paul Burchill. Lance Hoyt. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, they've got David Flair. Oh, but they got Jimmy Havoc. <laughs> uh, they got, uh... Sarah Del Rey. Gilberg. Oh, man. Sarah Del Rey, yeah, that sucks. Chris Hero, he's pretty big. Uh, Mosh. Gene Snitsky. Tomohiro Ishii. Man. Takami Janoku. Yeah, this is rough. Takumi Jinoku is in their lower mid card. Kuvi. Super crazy. Yeah, Masato Tanaka. Sabu. Got Jeff Hardy. He's kind of up and down, though. Uh, and then upper mid card is Shinsuke Nakamura, who is their main event champion, and they have no main eventers. Yeah. And yet, somehow, they started off bigger than us. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. When the game makes new companies, I don't think it follows the same rules we operate under, is all I'm saying. Yeah, who knows. All right, let's go to our staff here. Um, oh, we're there. <laughs> uh, so, Jesus, I, I'm so, I'm not, this is going to be rough. I, I'm worried, I'll put it that way. Well, it's not like they're going to, you know, take our birthday or whatever. I suppose not. I suppose not. Uh, let's see. Change appearance. All right, Brody. Um, let's. You want to get? You want to go the full meme and give him a suit? What's well, his gimmick? Is is he's ahead of his time, and it's mark out good. Um, I guess we could. I mean, look, we could change his shirt color and he'd be happy. Right. But like, if we're if we're what gonna... if we gave him a big hammer? Uh, I mean, like, there's a bunch of stuff we could do. His his gimmick is that he's ahead of his time because he, we gave him the fucking Luke. I believe we gave him the Luke Harper haircut. Look. No, he came looking like this. Oh, nice. Um, so we could do any number of things. We could cut his hair, you know, give him a new aggressive, new, like, uh, you know, trunks or tights-based look. We could give him the suit and do the full meme. He's Mr. Brody Lee now. Um. 
I'm seeing what our hair options are I, here. Yeah, it's fine. I just saw uh, bear ears wail by, and Brain was like, no. I think those are more like little buns. Um. Well, all right, so what do we what do we want this new direction for Brody? Because if he's doing if if he if we're doing more than just changing his shirt color or taking his shirt off or whatever, what do we want this new direction to be? Uh, that's tough. Part of my hesitance here is that I I would like him to be visually identifiable as Brody Lee. You know. And I didn't see that much of the, the Mr. Brody Lee gimmick. Right. On account of his, you know, tragic passing. Well, more on account of that I wasn't watching AEW when it first started with any regularity. Um, I gave him a Donkey Kong tie. <laughs> Change nothing else. Still yeah, still just, in the uh, the A-frame shirt. Just yeah. Donkey Kong tie. A uh, big Undertaker tie. Um... So, I think he'll probably still be pretty recognizable as Brody Lee if we don't change the head. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, too. Sorry, my brain kind of um, fell out of my ear there. Uh, looking at options is a great way for me to lose my focus. Um, uh, let's see. Just give him a little bit of like texture there. That's not bad. Like, go along the, the Dark Order style, but more wrestling gear than... Than suit? Yeah. That's a little plain. I think maybe the, uh, the, the, the pants just looking like pants is fine. But the shirt, instead of texture, maybe actually go with an accent color. Just to make it pop a little more. Okay. Not trunks. No, I, um, uh, tights... Oh, we could do camouflage. That's not bad. Uh, what year is it currently in universe? It's 2005. Yeah, that's pretty peak. Yeah, okay. I the urban, urban camo is, is 2005 all, all up and down. Honestly, we could go back to the, the A shirt and just darken it here. He's got, gives him kind of a Dudley's look. Yes, that's why it was. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what I was saying. Okay, no, our message heard. I didn't say it was. It's not a bad thing. It's just a, it's a very iconic look. Right. Uh. It's not bad. Yeah, that's just still visually Brody Lee, but it's a new look. Mm -hmm. Just he got some new gear. Yeah. Um. He's wearing tri tights instead of jeans. Can we give him some uh, chest hair? There we go. Little, little, little taco meat? Yeah. All right, sounds good. There you go. And we did it. We did it. And he got us a little message saying, hey, thanks, guys. Okay. Oh, not to the book yet. Not there yet. Um, so we uh, need to go do the indies. We need to scope out what's going on here. El Generico. Oh, he's good, too. Oh, he's so good. Oh, we got money right now. He's good and he's young. Let's buy. Yeah, before somebody else snaps him up. Oh, he's cheap. Yeah, let's try 175. Okay. 200? 225? 225. Perfect. Perfect. Send him right away. I'm Get right. on that main roster. Perfect. Now we have El Generico and Kevin Steen. All right. <laughs> what is their link? They're good friends. Out oh, of okay. Kayfabe. Hulk Hogan wants to hang out. No. Yeah, I know. I agree, but... Uh, Okay, um, we need to look into somebody. We keep trying to get Keith Lee. I forget. He's not available, right? He doesn't want to be scouted. Who else is on the Indies? Uh, Johnny Gargano? No, he's gone now. Yeah, like the new wrestling company ate up a bunch of the Indies. Nick Aldis... Kira Tozawa. Kira Tozawa's still there. I just saw him. Brandon Cutler. Yeah. And then uh, Keith. Keith Lee's gone. I think he got snapped up by WWE or something. Um, so what do you think? Uh, this is, we're looking to scout someone? Yeah, just to keep the experience up. 
Uh, either Tozawa or Champa. I don't think Champa's an option. Oh, I'm sorry. No, the other one. Uh, the... Gargano's not an option anymore either. Oh, he, oh, he wasn't. Oh. No. Then Tozawa, yeah. Tozawa, okay. Alrighty. Uh, recruit. Matt. We've got two guys. So, um, Nick Aldis, Brandon Cutler, or we can try to search for someone else. Brandon Cutler sounds funny. Brandon Cutler. He was an actual wrestler at that point. Yeah. He very famously, when he got to, uh, AEW had a feud with MJF about um, D and D not being cool. It was a brief feud, very like a week maybe. But their Twitter feud lit up because people didn't understand that uh, they were wrestlers. Well, that MJF was just you know working. Um, okay, so that is uh, Indigo Lynch is available. To train somebody. Alright, let's find somebody with a one star and try and fix that. Uh, that's faster if we go to the book. Um, work rate. Oh, no other way. Hilariously, Alex Shelley's a great example. We actually got uh, all the work rate stars fixed. No, but we didn't. Some of those people are over. So, like... What? What? Oh, no, it might be Charisma I'm looking at. Yeah, you're looking at Charisma. I'm looking at work rate. Now, Tony DeVito only has one star, but he is being trained right now. Yeah, so never mind. So, yeah, we're good. So, uh, Charisma stars, then. I don't know if that person does that. We'll try. Um, Let's see. Oh, Slick Wagner Brown could use it. So could Rebecca. So could Marcos. And Ibu... Uh, no. Nope. Uh, Okada's a one-star native. Uh, H.C. Loke. We got a bunch of people who are one-star native, but happen to be over right now. Right. So, I would say Okada's more worth our time. Um. If it works that way. Uh, Train. Charisma. Indigo Lynch. Charisma. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right, that's that. Okay, back to the book here. Uh, our feuds are Okada versus Birdie Lee, uh, Rebecca Knox versus CM Punk. Let's see, we have some notes here. Obviously, Zach wants a match against uh, Alex Shelley. He's got a feud with Ibushi that maybe we should do. Uh, we did Brody's makeover. Um. And Knox went over at the pay-per-view, right? Yeah. And so then so... Steen is waiting on Punk to finish feuding. Uh, and Punk is furious that Knox beat him. There should be more angry attacks and hardcore matches. Can you check the pay-per-view? I forget who won. I, maybe Punk won at the pay-per-view so that Knox goes uh, over I'm, in the end. I'm pretty sure uh, Knox won at the pay-per-view. No, we might be thinking of the pay-per-view cycle before that is why I want to check. Yeah. CM Punk beat her. The pay per view cycle before that, Knox beat Punk, and we did turn up the heat. That's an old note. Oh, okay. My bad. Thank um, you. And then we, Punk beat her uh, to even them up, and then now we're doing the rubber match. Okay. Where eventually Rebecca Knox goes over on account of she's the baby. Face. Okay, cool. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, now. Do we have... Did we finish the title? We did. The title match is done. Yeah. Um. So there's that. <sighs> Zack Sabre Jr. is the... Heel. Right? Go check. Yeah. He yeah. looks so weird not blonde. We can make him blonde. We not, could. It's not that expensive. Yeah, it's, it's fine for now, though. Um, okay. He Let's, wants his match. Right. Uh, I'm week. checking fatigue here. Okay, so where do we go from 
Knox and Punk here? How does this continue? Well, last month they, um, the the heat was up because uh, Punk was mad, and then he did manage to actually win at the pay per view. Right. So now they're on much more even footing, and it's just like a grudge match thing. Like, the, the, why is this feud not done? Um, there are two options. Punk is not happy with having one, and he in, seeks to destroy Rebecca Knox. Or, uh, Rebecca Knox is actually the one, like, coming back. Uh, to, like, uh, no, this isn't over yet. Could be a little bit of both. Um, Smack Talk's pretty difficult, and she's not great at it, so maybe we should just do a promo battle or something. I'd say promo battle, yeah. That's yeah. fine. Okay. Um. Because the gimmick is uh, true opposites, as it were, the, the feud, so it's just that they, they just fucking hate each other. <laughs> right. It started out with Punk being like, hey, you drink and that's not cool. But then it got so on fire. Yeah, now it's just, now it's just the, they... It is it is a blood feud at this point. Right. Okay. Um, uh, what, what are you thinking? I'm thinking that maybe the Sex Panthers need another title defense. Because uh, the plan is to have them lose the titles, right? Yeah. So... Let's keep him looking good. Uh, who can afford to lose here? What did these guys face? Oh, the crowd kind of wants to see it, but they can't really afford to lose. Carnage Crew would be fine. Uh, the embassy is radio silence, so... Do you think Carnage Crew for the lack of losses, or Briscoe's for... I'm always going to want to put the... Bri uh Put the Carnage crew as the jobbers over the Briscoe brothers. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. And uh, this is just to get them a win? This is just to get them a win. We will do a solo feud promo um, for Sweet and Sour and Stevie saying they're going to get serious. Saying like, you know, uh, this is it, this, these are the Ring of Honor tag team titles. They deserve our best effort. You guys want to see our best effort? Fine. We'll show you our best effort. And then, you know, they're heels. So their best, so their serious is beatdowns and violence. Yeah, I mean, I think they're more heels by dint of just being really annoying. That's fair. Uh, but they actually start winning matches, I was thinking. Hmm. It's the kind of thing that you could maybe turn them face on if they weren't such douchebags. You know, the MJF move. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okada versus Brody Lee. I, I did not check and see who won the last one. What was going on there? Um, Brody Lee won. Oh, it was over the Pure Championship. Yeah, Brody Lee uh, just took the title. This is the denouement where yeah. he where he c cements his claim. Okay, so didn't he win? He won, right? Yeah, he won. Um, this maybe should be another segment. I'm gonna throw a producer focus on They're there. They're already so hot. They have all of the all of the uh, charisma and chemistry that him and Ibushi lack. Yeah, I'm gonna say backstage confrontation. That's absolutely fair. They just sort of talk about it backstage. Okay. Um, Daphne and Nigel McGuinness are just wrestling to see who's better. I don't believe there's a title on the line. No. Um, again, I forgot who won that. I'm glad this is loading faster. Thank you for fixing that bug. It is nice to be able to fly through the menus. Nigel won their last confrontation. So Daphne should win this next one. Um, In their best of however many we can get away with series. Hmm. How are they doing? Fatigue-wise? Fatigue, yeah. Uh, Nigel's at 10. That's not bad. Daphne is at... 10. 10. They okay. could just have a match. <sighs> Is that interesting, though? Like, just after the pay-per-view where they just had a match? I don't know that it is. Um, but we have a lot of promos and not a lot of matches yeah. on this card. Well, uh, Nigel's a face. Daphne's a heel. So. The Teddy Long special? Um, yeah, but let's have it a little bit more. 
logical. They're a little tired of that, but that's okay. Uh, Nigel, who could you join forces with that would be cool? Um, I guess Steen's not really doing anything. And he's a face. That works. There we go. There we go. Um, okay. So, that should be all our feuds. Yep. We uh, need a new main event title feud. We do. Who is our babyface Colt Cabana going Not to be Not CM wrestling? Punk. He's no. going to be busy very soon. It is currently yeah. busy. Um, we talked about Jay Lethal, I think, right? We could do that. Yeah. I, I rate that. Um, okay. You know what? That seems like a good uh, good thing to do. How does that go down? Probably a promo, right? Promo, uh, match where Jay Lethal wins. I don't know if I want to do that just after Colt won the title. Um, match where Jay Lethal loses but is sore about it. Um, okay, no, we don't really do that. I like that a lot. Okay, so Colt Cabana, Jay Lethal. We'll book it. Um... Fighting champion. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the things he's doing. The big baby face. I'm a fighting champion thing. I, I, you know, it was just uh, at the pay per view. I just won. I intend to. I intend to be a fighting champion. I'm doing a, a title match tonight. Uh, and then Jay Lethal steps up to be the challenger. We don't have a new challenger, so we'll just run that. That's fine. Yeah. Um. And I, I don't know if we need to book it because that's double booking a feud that just started. Yeah, I feel like we're... But Jay Lethal after this is so furious that he loses that he and the rest of the embassy just beat the crap out of court. I mean, honestly, we can just book that as a solo feud promo next week. Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Like him talking about him being mad. Or book it as like a uh, back, you know, a, yeah, a backstage attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Okay, so that is... Um, oh, they feuded before. Probably a tag thing. Yeah, back with the Second City Saints. Yeah, that's fun. So we have a lot of guys. We do. We do. Oh, right. Zack Saber Jr.'s not doing anything. We can um, get his match. We wanted. Yeah, we wanted to get him a match with Alex Shelley, who I believe is in the Sex Panthers. So that'll have to wait a week. Um, but he's starting a feud with Ibushi because they had a really good match at the pay per view. Um, that they just came together for the first time. I say let's run it back for the weekly audience or the local arena audience. This is basically like there's a lot of pay per view rematches happening here, mm -hmm. or like you know at the very least pay per view. Look, you know you get the title matches too. This is, this is a big TV like sweeps week move we're taking here. Uh, I. We're, we're, running we're running greatest, greatest wrestler, wrestler already. Yeah. I'd say this is probably a fill-in. Yeah. Uh, let's, oh. No, I didn't mean to do that. I want, okay, that's what happened. Financial, but no. 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 It's thinking. Yep. It's trying to come up with a good one. What is best suited? <laughs> no. Uh, I loved you. Um, at this point in the timeline, have has Zack Saber Jr. been in Japan? I don't know. He's got to be crazy young here, so I doubt it. Damn. So like, we can't. I, do I like, liked it, but I think they're both pretty young. I, I so we can't do like uh, imported beef. This is perfect. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. I mean, when all else fails, card games on motorcycles. Yeah, no notes. Um, all and right. we'll have Ibushi go over here. Okay. Um, so, let's build the Briscoes up. Uh, Timorarios, Ring Crew Express. Both not in great moods. Nah, Ring Crew Express is in a better mood, so yeah, let's just do that. Um... Okay. Uh, 
How many more segments do we have? Three? Oh, we can do a... Uh, event hype. Yeah, event hype for the next pay-per-view. I just said nice things about the lack of... Uh, yeah, they had to teach you. You had to yeah, learn. Yeah, that's what I get. That's what I get. Okay. Um... Man, Jack Evans, we got in a really good place. Yeah. Matt Stryker, you're not doing anything. You're a baby face. What about a trios match? Can we pull that off? Matt Stryker, Homicide. Jack Evans. Jack Evans. Uh, we were told in the comments that if you give somebody a title match, even if they lose, it does good stuff for their morale. Nice. So maybe that's something to remember. Um, Who are these guys going to fight? That is a good question. I mean, the radio silence is the, but like one half of them is yeah. busy. Chad Collier's not doing anything. Doug Williams is one half of Radio Silence. Um, and Abyss. Here we go. Sure. Sure. Uh, maybe um, Prince Nana's looking to expand. So and he's, he's like, putting out yeah, feelers. How, how are you guys going? Well, you guys can fight these dudes. Should be a layup. Let's see if you pull it off. Okay. Um, who else is available to do stuff? Man, we are stretching the limits of our roster. We Yeah, this is why I keep assigning people, man. Uh, what is Okada doing? Backstage confrontation. Okay. I think we're out. I think we might be out. Um, like okay. Brody Lee could do some shit. Oh, Brody's in the Okada thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I have uh, an option here. What we do is we take guaranteed talent, Samoa Joe. And we have him do a solo feud. Just have him just do a... It could probably be solo feud, yeah. If, if they'll allow it. They probably will, yeah. Oh, no, we already have one on the show. Oh, okay. We do solo few promo this yeah. time? Or it's repeatable. Yeah, it's Sweet and Sour on TV. Oh, yeah. But that's fine. He can just do a heel promo. Yeah, just just, just remind just remind everyone that you suck, Joe. Yeah. I'm coming and I hate all of you. Don't forget. Never yeah, forget yeah, that yeah, I hate you. Never forget that. Okay, I think this is pretty decently stacked, so let's roll it. Yeah. Uh, make sure all the feuds are on there. Duel. And uh, new challenger. Okay, cool. Play All it right, up. Let's play. Yes. We're starting the event. Joe says, "Get fucked." Hey, Ain't super effective. <laughs> Good job, Joe. Um, these guys win to give them a morale boost. Hopefully, on oh, you guys don't get to join the embassy. <laughs> Matt Stryker's the other one gimmick. Uh, oh, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, woo! Boiling point's gonna be hot. Yeah, nice. Nice job, Paul Carr. Briscoe's gonna win. That's the plan. Oh, they hot put on a match. banger and everyone got nice. over. Nice. That's good to see. Uh, okay, Ibushi wins this one. That's the plan. Good psychology. These guys are good in the ring together. Yeah, they've got they got that natural zhuzh. Um, okay, this is a backstage confrontation. I think Okada is going to confront Brody and be like, "This isn't over." That's I'm, my I'm taking that back, yeah. just so you know. Keep it warm for me, sort of thing. Fantastic, thank you, Paul. Oh boy, that was yeah, good. Yeah, he's got only two stars because of uh, uh, being over. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good role. I kind of like Jimmy Jacobs and Daphne. I mean, yeah, it fits. Yeah, I kind of dig that. Maybe we'll do something there. Um, Neither of them's looking to be in the main title picture for a while, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll go with them, uh, I think. Sure. Cool. That was a good match. Sweet and Sour and Stevie, you're going to get serious. And everyone's like, yes, please no more comedy promos. Never again. And that's that's the line. Sweet and Sour and Stevie and serious. <laughs> Uh, Sex Panthers hang on to their titles they look good hey the crowd really liked that match it was a tag team title it had the Carnage crew in it in pay per view 
Right, but on free TV instead. Yeah. And then, yeah, of course. Promo battle went really well. All, it's a super hype. Uh, Colt Cabana wins over Jay Lethal. And yes. the beatdown happens afterward in Universe. Hot match. Yeah. Uh, the beatdown happens afterwards, and then Lethal can do a promo or something right. about it next we'll week. We'll do something about it next week. Backstage attack or something. 57 bucks, four and a quarter star show. And Okada's, Okada's charisma already went up. Yeah, it already it, it, it got fixed. That's awesome. Man, that's um, dude. WPR shot above New Japan. They are they are threatening NWA TNA in terms of numbers. How? What astroturf bullshit I is this? I have no idea. Maybe they got into the India market before the WWE even thought about it. Yep. Okay. I caught a skill up. All right. Let's try to book this one a little quicker. Um. So we need to do the beat down. Uh, let's pick new challenger. No, 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 no. Oh, we did have a new challenger one running. Oh, well. This apparently isn't a problem. No. We've well, never tested that before. I didn't think it would be. Um. Off camera assault. Yeah. Uh, let's... No. Backstage confrontation. It has more action points. Well, confrontation is like. Oh, not that's, an yeah, attack. that's just We this... were looking for more of a surprise attack. Yeah. Has a good amount of action points. Let's add that. Um, we'll put that at the top of the show because it's a recap from last week. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um... You know what? The beatdown happened after the show went off air and they're showing it to us. Yeah, that's even better. Look at you. Uh, Okay. Um, so we need to get a victory for Sweet and Sour and Stevie. Because they're going legit. They're allowed to beat... The Briscoe Brothers River was tired of it. Well, but yeah, they, they just got done feuding. Um, uh, Radio Silence? No. Radio Silence isn't going to get much use for a while. Uh, they're probably fine against the Carnage crew. Okay. Hey, look, it is what it is. Um, okay. Uh, I think this is going to be the opposite of the last show. Because we need Sex Panthers to cut a promo. And they're not good at it. Give them um, a producer focus. Give them a low difficulty promo. Yeah, it's only one. Sweet and Sour and Stevie. Paul's going to help them. Hopefully it'll do okay. Since the feud's pretty hot. Uh, Fingers crossed. Okay. What else do we have that's running? Okada versus Lee. Currently our hottest feud. Yes. Um, Knox versus Punk. Uh, Daphne versus McGinnis. And Ibushi versus Zack Sabre Jr. Um, well, we got a bunch of things we could do here. Okay. Um, but... <sighs> This is one of those times when it being a video game is going to structure our storytelling a little bit. Sure. Talk to me. The best move here is the thing we have discovered is usually a good move, which is staple our lowest feud to our highest feud and let the and let one drag the other up. Uh, so, Okada... I would maybe suggest we staple our lowest feud to our second highest feud because um, Ibushi and Brody Lee have zero chemistry together. Yeah, they do. They do genuinely. It just it is cancerous. They've never put on a good thing together. Yeah, um, we had a really tough time with them, and they're going to be the tired. The crowd's going to be tired of it anyway. So, so yeah, uh, then let's do Rebecca Knox. This can be a promo because they're low. On, they they have a low amount of stainless available. Um. So then we just Ibushi do a, and I feel like this is the winner. This is promo battle. This is... Oh, yeah, that'll be fine. They both got two stars, so... And then um, you know, this is Rebecca. So either this is the Ring of Honor uh, patented, patent-pending avant-garde fucking one-shot through the hallway where different things are happening, or it's a fight, or... I don't feel like Ibushi Sabre Jr. is hot enough already for a fight. Um, They've had all of two matches... Yeah, it probably probably promo battle better. Okay, so that's those feuds taken care of. We still have Okada versus Lee. 
Uh, Daphne versus McGinnis. Um, we could run straight up tag team match on that one. Hey, look, it's I know, listener. You may say to yourself, "You guys book a lot of this." The reason we book a lot of this is because it works. <laughs> Teddy Long was right. Teddy Long was ahead of his time. He, well, was, he and was playing Jow. In real life, we would be doing something else. Uh, that we are play- we are telling it, trying to tell a good story within the confines of the video game. Oh, what's up? So I was going to say because Okada's a little upset. Mm-hmm. Um, that we have uh, Nigel McGinnis and Okada win here. Okay. But we could also have Brody Lee and Daphne win. And then Brody Lee and Daphne and Jimmy Jacobs form a new stable? Yeah. It, I love it, except for the fact that it's a trio and the game hates those mechanics. Oh, no, I, that's not really what I was so much looking forward to doing. Just, uh, they would be interesting together. I don't know. Nothing we have to do this episode. Uh, I mean, why not? Sure. <laughs> um, well, we need to think of a name, so that's something to think of between episodes. Yes, that is dead time. Uh, yeah, we already customized a wrestler's appearance and flopped around on that for a while, so. Um... That happened there. This is happening here. Right? We need a new right. we need a wrestling match. You sure? Yep. Okay. Um Wow, the Briscoes got into the main event on that last win. That's cool. We uh, could manufacture them another and get and keep them there. Yeah, let's let's make the Briscoes look strong. Uh you know what we could do? Who are two people, single stars who are feuding who aren't busy? Two or, single stars who are feuding who aren't busy? Yeah. Uh, do we have any open feuds or are all our feuds taken Yeah, we, we did all the feuds. Oh, well, never mind then. I was su- going to suggest having two feuding single stars fight the Briscoes and the Briscoes beat them because non-established tag team versus established tag team could mm-hmm. even be, like, main eventers or whatever. We can do that next week. Yeah. Yeah, we could. Um, they want to see the Briscoe brothers fight everybody, by the way. Yeah, except for Radio Silence. Uh... Who did they beat last week? Was it Ring Crew Express or Carnage Crew? Uh, it was... It was Carnage Crew, I think. It was Carnage Crew. You know what we could do? Hmm. Um, Sweet and Sour and Stevie win their match, right? Right. Uh, Briscoe Brothers versus Sex Panthers, non-title. Briscoe Brothers win. Um, and we take the hit for interference from Sweet and Sour and Stevie. Okay. Okay. To get... Uh, remove title. Um, and, and then that we can, way, next week, Sweet and Sour TV can be like, you guys couldn't even get it done. You call yourselves champions? Exactly. That's good shit. Uh, okay. And we'll, we'll take the hit. But yeah. Like, there will be a hit there, I'm sure. So then I can get rid of this solo feud problem. Yeah, because you said, you know, Sex Panthers aren't great at it. This gets right. it on the card without having to give them a live microphone and fucking <laughs> sweat. <laughs> All right. Um, Jay Lethal should win against someone. Uh, Kevin Steen seems like a fine candidate. He's up to nothing. That's technically our main event feud, so... Um, Homicide and Jack Evans could use a win. Uh... The Ring Crew Express is there, so that's fine. That's what you're for. Yep. We got you over because the boss told us to, but you're not actually all that much of an Yeah, <laughs> you're jobbers and I don't know you, so. Uh, okay, we've got four segments left we could do, and we are quickly running out of stuff. We're gonna we're reaching the point where until we get some more talent, yeah. or, and most importantly, some talent is back from fucking injury, we're gonna just want to make peace with having some open slots. Yeah, yeah, that is that's kind of the case. Um, is there someone who could use some mic time who's not busy? We can give them a day in the life and call it a good and call it a card. Some mic time. Jimmy's not doing anything. He doesn't need a day in a life. 
You know what he needs to do. He needs to take some smug young upstarts down a few pegs. Call yourself the revolution. The revolution was already here. Main event time. Look at that. Um, let's add producer to this. We got a card room for another singles promo if somebody could use it. Uh, I mean, like, all of our lower card guys could take a promo. Find somebody Ooh. with some decent charisma. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Zack Sabre Jr. is at... Okay, he's in a promo battle this week. Yeah, he's at 40%. Just, yeah. Uh, could do a manager promo. Yeah, give somebody a manager promo. Yeah. Um, Caprice, Julius Smokes, or Prince Nana. I like how Prince Nana's got a better work rate than the guy who used to be a wrestler, like, in our save file. Julius, Julius Smokes makes the bumps. Um, manager promo. Uh, let's go, uh... Radio uh, Silence, Jay Lethal's yeah. in the main event right now. Okay, so the surprise attack opens our show. Uh, can we wedge another promo in there? Yep. What could it be about? Um, Matt Striker's far up enough there. Let's let's Chad Collier up too. He can just cut a heel promo. Uh, heat promo. This is nice having enough segments that we can get all our shit done quickly. And give some space to get some other people on the card. I think is good. Yeah. Okay. I'd say call that a card. I'd say call that a card too. Uh, let's play it out. So. Um, Jay Lethal attacked Cole Cabana. Looking strong. Looking strong indeed. Jay good Lethal. Segment. Nice work. Um, Los Temerarios are getting a win because they're both kind of cheese off. Not bad. Good match. Uh, Radio mm. Silence getting talked up. Good job. Prince nice. Nano's gimmick progressed from average to good. Sweet and Sour and Stevie proving that they rule. Low intensity. Someone screwed that one up. What happened from last week, guys? Chad Collier is still here. Thanks for the producer focus. Getting it almost Good to Lord. three stars. Almost to two stars. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. Almost to two. Uh, ad finish. Um, interference. Distraction or interference. Uh, Whichever one costs less stars. Good call. Minus half a star plus one feud staleness. That's a lot. Or? Or... Uh, interference DQ. Minus a full Minus star. full star, but plus 0.5 feud staleness. The feud just started, didn't it? No, we're no. about to end it. Yeah, I'd say go with the... I'm going to go with the other one, with uh, distraction. Which means the... We might have to relax them a week, but yeah. it's such a hot feud, I think they can take it. Um, Sweet and Sirens TV. And then Sex Panthers win. Uh, but distraction, oh. no, Briscoe Brothers win. That's right, we took the title off, right? Yeah, it's not title. Okay, then yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be cheese off if I screwed that up. We didn't! Hooray! We didn't screw it up, hooray. And hey, it, we, it was a good match anyway, so. Good enough to eat that, no problem. Yeah. And it got that feud on the card. Yep. Uh, big promo thing happened. Duel really got some spice out of that. That was a good call. Yeah, alright, so, um... Which one do we do here? The morale boost to the losingest team here? Or do we solidify heading into a trio? I think that's more interesting storytelling. Okada can, uh, he'll, we'll put someone on his neck rubs next month. Whatever. Yeah, okay. Alrighty. And then Nigel comes out with his uh, slander competitor right after. You want to see the revolution. I'll show you the revolution. Oh, and we do. Thank you, James. <laughs> James Jakey. 
Uh, Jay Lethal looking good. Thank you, Kevin Steen. Um, got talked up earlier and is doing what he can. Nigel McGinnis' work rate increased to level 3. Perfect. And Zack Sabre Jr. is starting to get over with the fans. That's awesome. All awesome stuff. Uh, 35 bucks, almost a 4-star show. Hey, we pulled worse. Let's see what our star ratings are. Oh. Drum roll, please. Yeah, how many fans did we lose this time? Well, we're not on that screen. <sighs> nope. Scroll down. No, no, we're still gaining. Well, I mean, Power Slam fucking shit the bed. Holy yeah. crap. They lost 30,000 fans. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's good. Yeah, it was, Raw lost 20,000. All right. Any mail? One mail. It's because the, uh, the thing, the uh, skill increase. Nice. So that's the show. Bye.